Hi guys, in this video we will dive a bit into Faceit, because for me it's one of the most useful add-ons on Blender Market. With that you can create very easy, very good face rigs, which are then also compatible with Apple's AirKit or Nvidia's Audio to Face. The downside is, it isn't so cheap unfortunately. I use version 2 and it's about $100. Um, but Blender Market also have some discounts sometimes and especially if you make many face rigs then it's really totally worth it. So um, first of all we select all face objects. Um, so in this case it's just uh, the whole body. And then we click on register face objects. And then the first thing we have to do is um, we have to assign the main face. Um, so for that we go into edit mode and select the vertice and press Ctrl L to select everything. Um, so it's just the main face without the hairs and eyes. Um, yeah, then we click on main and after that we assign the right eyeballs. Um, so the eyeballs are only uh, the white part because um, here you can assign the iris separately. But if you can't separate it, then you can assign just the complete eyeball to eyeballs. But in this case, um, I assign only the white part to the right eyeball and the iris to the iris. And also for the left part, All right, then we need to assign the upper teeth. For that, we have to go into the mouth. Um, yeah, here. Okay, and the upper teeth is um, basically the teeth with the upper gums. So we select them. All right. And also the same for the lower teeth. Then also the tongue. And then um yeah, we don't have separate eyelashes here, so we don't need to assign it. But we have eyebrows. And you just assign them together. So, um, facial hair. And then if you have additional assets like earrings, for example, uh, which shouldn't be deformed, then you can assign them to rigid also. One important thing, if your face and body is one mesh, then you would have to assign the rest of the body to rigid so that it doesn't deform in some ways. Now we can go out of edit mode and then we go to the rig tab and here we can generate landmarks. If your face is asymmetrical, then you of course have to click on this button. And if you want to mask the main face so that you only see the main face, you can do that here. Um, but we don't need that really. Um, yeah, I would hide the head for now. And then we click on generate landmarks. Yeah, then we come to the front view. And first of all, we have to align it to the chin. Like this. And then to the eyes. Yeah. Um, this face is a bit longer than normal faces and we have to align some points. Um, so first of all, we make them a bit more down. This should be here. Uh, these points should be on the downside of the ear. This on the upper side. Here like this. Uh, here should be still a bit place, so don't do the points up to the end of the face. Then 
you also have to align the points for the eyebrows. And for the eyelashes. Like this. Then the nose. Okay. Then for the eyes. and the mouth. So place these points on the middle of the lips. I think this looks pretty good. And now we can click on project landmarks. Okay, um, as you can see, some landmarks are not protected correctly. So we have to take them and put them more on the right side. Here we have to align this point more to the chin. Hmm. Yeah, more like this. Also the nose should be more like this. And yeah, here a bit. Okay, then we also put it a bit more in the middle and this point also more um, to the front. Um, yeah, this can happen if the main mesh isn't the whole face. So if I go out of edit mode and then go into the edit mode of the mesh, then as you can see, the hair is a separate mesh layer. So if I hide it, then yeah, that's why this problem can occur. But now we go back and select it again, go into edit mode. And a little tip, you mostly get better lip deformations if you put the points of the lips a bit under the surface. So for that you would first have to deactivate the snapping function and then just put it a bit under the surface. And I recommend also doing this for the eyes. Okay, one thing I didn't notice and could have solved a little problem we get afterwards with the eye blink and um, just make sure that these points are always out of the eye so that you have still a little bit placed here. Um, so do it like this. Then I would put these points also a bit nearer to the face, like this. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Um, generate face wig is grayed out, so we have to go out of edit mode. Then we click on back to rigging, okay, and generate face wig. And now we also have to click on bind. All right, now we can test it out by just going into the post mode and then we move the controllers and yeah, this works fine. Nose. 
cheeks, eyebrows, and the eyelids. But they doesn't work so well. Um, I already know it because obviously the character doesn't really have eyelids. Um, so we can tweak it a bit later. But yeah, this is already not so bad. And what's also very great, the world process is non-destructive. So you can always go back to object mode and then click on back to landmarks. Okay. And then tweak the points a bit. And after it, you can just click on generate face rig again. And bind. And now we can go to the expressions tab. And then we click on load face it expressions. And here we can choose between our air kit or audio to face or the two others, but I don't know them really. So I mostly use our air kit. And then just click on OK. And now we can test the expressions by just clicking on them. Or you can also just press um, play and then they will be played in a row. Yeah, this looks quite nice, I would say. As we saw before, the eye blink left and right doesn't really work so well in this case because the character doesn't really have eyelids. Uh, what you can do for um, expressions who don't really look as you want, um, you can click on a character and then on the expression you want to change and then just click on corrective shape key. And now you can sculpt it uh, out as you want or you can also go into edit mode and then make it here manually. Uh, you can activate proportional editing. And then, yeah, you could uh, tweak it a bit. And another cool thing is you can say with the amplify pose, how much 100% should be. So if you say it should be a little bit more open or a little bit more closed, then you can control it here for every expression. And then if you checked all expressions and made sure that everything fits, you can finally go to the baking tab and bake the shape keys. With that, you will transfer the face it shape keys to the blender internal shape keys. So just click on OK. And then you will see all shape keys here. And they are also animated so you can play it here also and it seems to work or you can just delete the keyframes if you want yeah then we have basically done it and under shapes you would have some additional possibilities to tweak shape keys but we won't touch that and under the control tab you can also generate a simple control rig so if we go to post mode, you can also animate it with this control rig too. And finally, we have our mocap tab where we could import some mocap data from different apps, but more to that in a coming video. And I hope you liked it. If so, then please leave a thumbs up or a comment below and then I see you next time.